I've taken Lego's Pirate Snub Fighter and only pieces from that set and built a V-Wing, which we'll look at in just a second because of their being mostly gray pieces in this set, it does fit more with a Bad Batch or Early Empire style V-Wing. But if you do want to become a member, access the Discord where you'll find these instructions already up by the time this video is out and take a few red plates and holes from your collection, add them to this model. It will fit in with all your other Lego ships. But now let's take a look at what I've built. Here it is, not only does this model look really, really good, even if I say so myself, but it also fits two minifigure scout. I'll explain that in just a second for those of you that haven't seen my minifigure scout before. But there are also so many features. I've tried to keep a lot of the compartments from the original model because that was one of the best things about the set. And I really did like the original Snub Fighter set in the first place but you can see i've spared no expense on the detail on the engines especially on the back of the ship usually this is left quite bland in other designs because it is ultimately going to be facing a wall or looking away from the camera but i've added a little bumper and made sure i have detailed it to the same extent i did my other model and i actually used the same 3d model online to build both this V-Wing and my previous iterations. Just before we get into minifigure scale, these are all the spare pieces that are left over if you do end up building this model. So perhaps if you have another model on the go that needs a handful of these elements, it's good to know that you can rebuild this set into a V-Wing and use these for your other designs. And it was also really satisfying to line these up on a base plate. My minifigure scout I used to build all of my mocks, including this V-Wing, keeps to a fairly strict one to 45 scout, which means this is one 45th of life size. And that keeps with the minifigures as well, because the average minifigure tends to be in universe 180 centimeters. And that makes these minifigures one to 45 scale as well. So it helps to see the different sizes of ships in regards to not only the minifigures, but also each other. And we can compare a few different ships with this V-Wing later on, but you've already seen me build a V-Wing on this channel. It fits exactly in the box I have created. I think it's about 13 studs wide, 26 long, and something crazy like 50 plates tall. But I have the exact measurements on screen if you do want to have a go at building one yourself. But now let's take a look at some of the cool features. First up, you'll probably want to display this on your shelf. And right now, if you try to put it down, it's just gonna act as a ramp for another ship to take off perhaps, but you're gonna need a support at the front. And I have created this almost leg here, which just uses a two by two brick at the top, a two by two dome piece at the bottom and one of the bars all from the spare pieces you saw earlier and if you clip this to the front underside of the ship it stands on its own and will look great on your display but you probably are aware v-wings do not sit with their wings open they have a whole landing formation similar to an x-wing and if you would like to display it in its landing formation the change is very simple, all you've got to do is clip the wings off at the black plate and then rotate them 90 degrees. And honestly, the only way this could be easier is if we had some hinge plates in the set and wouldn't need to take them off. Then we take the two round bricks from earlier and this time put them together without the bar, put it back on the front and now it can be displayed as if it was landed and waiting for the next mission. I think the fact that the wings can just be clipped into the other orientation is really, really cool as they're not fixed into flight mode or even fixed into display mode. So let's take a closer look at what the difference is. You can see on the left, the wings are definitely a lot taller than they are on the right. And once again, just to make sure it is minifigure scale, we have this tower of bricks and it's pretty much perfectly scaled at one to 45. There's a few different techniques I've used to create this round shape on the wings that I am very proud of and to put the turrets on as well, which are almost the same length. I did try to make them the same length. I just don't think it's possible without adding a few extra pieces and bulking this up. But you can see the plate that these rest on is a two by six, which means that it's two studs wide 
giving you the two studs of connection because if I flip both of these over you'll see they're actually connected to a different stud. When the wings are open you connect them to the back stud and when the wings are closed they're connected to the front stud. Notice this one by two slope inverted for support just to make sure the wings don't fall off when you're moving around or especially swooshing around when playing with it. One of the best parts of this model for me is all the different compartments that I've tried to carry over from the original ship. First off we do have a little space underneath this front part which is a bit awkward to get to but if you're adding some flick fire missiles which you can definitely add to this model. To add flick fire missiles all you have to do is remove the ingots at both sides here and then it's ready for play. But there is enough space to get two possibly even four studs underneath this tile and you'll notice this piece here which was very similar to the piece in the original set again with a hidden compartment and this can pull up to reveal the thermal detonators just in a crate hidden at the front but they're not the only secret compartments now the back here doesn't open up to reveal anything special it potentially could if we had another piece like this one at the front but the other compartment is actually behind Vane's head you might notice the giant slope acting as the headboard or the back of the chair and if we were to remove Vane and take this headboard up using the slope to lift it there is space for two pistols or perhaps a larger blaster and you could even try to fit Vane's sword in there instead. But this clips down to two studs at the back and it's really nice because in universe in Star Wars a lot of these smaller ships such as A-wings and V-wings have space to store the blasters either behind or underneath the seats and originally going all the way back to Splinter of the Mind's Eye that was where Luke and Leia would charge their lightsabers and blasters but it seems now with Disney that none of these weapons actually need charging. Not only does Vayne fit in and you could replace Vayne for a clone trooper there's enough space just about to get the helmet but we've got a control panel as well as some analog controls for Vayne to control the shuttle and once again the cockpit closes with plenty of room. The only piece modification I would make are these green clips here. If you do have them in a light or dark grey or even a black, any colour that isn't blue, green, red, yellow, it would be better to replace them on this model because they are shown and this is technically an illegal technique. Whilst it will be fine for display and likely even hold up to play. If you are worried about these clips breaking because they can get weak over time, add a hinge underneath this 2x3 plate and that will solve any issues. You may have noticed these engines also look familiar and that is because I have taken them straight from the original set. I like the design so much I made sure I could fit them on my V-Wing model. And like I said, this isn't the first V-Wing I have mocked up. So if you want to see what my model would look like if I had access to all of the parts in my collection, then check out the video on the top left of your screen. And if you've already seen that, don't worry. YouTube recommends this video for you to check out instead. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you want to see more mocks coming in the near future. May the bricks be with you always.